Dylan Thomas is a YouTuber who has had many different forms of content throughout the years, going from Sonic the Hedgehog to Kristen Wesson Chandler and now, finally, to comics. He is known for his reputation as being a Sonic YouTuber, which, if you've seen a couple of videos from my channel, is typically a bad sign. He also starts fights over the internet and manages to spectacularly lose. So, let's start from the beginning, when he created his YouTube channel. Dylan started his channel on the 27th of May 2014, with this channel being called Ninja Gaming. This is truly a genius name, and definitely not something I would have come up with when I was 9 years old to sound cool. These original Ninja Gaming videos have been deleted, unlisted or made private for some time. However recently, on the 15th of August 2021, Dylan created a new channel called DHT Archive and re-uploaded some of this old content. Dylan's content was, and still is, quite varied. However, during this period in around 2014 to 2016, the content typically strayed more towards theories, creepypastas and Sonic videos. These videos, especially those made in 2014, seem to be unscripted, so these videos are essentially just rambles. This is made worse by how it's quite clear at this point he's still not used to doing this and is audibly reserved while talking, so a lot of the things he says are pretty much inaudible. This is most obvious in his creepypasta videos, where he reads poorly written creepypastas, typically on Sonic the Hedgehog. In these, he reads a creepypasta whilst throughout laughing about how poorly written it is, both grammatically and story-wise. However, the problem with this is that because it is so unplanned, most of the things he is making fun of can barely be heard and blend in with what he is reading. Dylan would begin to become notorious late in 2016. Around this time, Mr. Metica was releasing a series called Deviants, where in this series, he would make fun of artists on DeviantArt laughing at those with strange fetishes. A YouTuber by the name of Doodle Tones took offence to the series and thus produced a video trying to call out Mr. Metica. However, this video has since been deleted and has not been archived, so I cannot say what else was in this video. What I can add is that Blaze the Movie Fan uploaded a video about this situation. This doesn't mean anything in terms of the video, but it is funny to me. He is literally everywhere. Big ups Blaze. Away from that aside, however, is that Dylan himself uploaded a video called Debunking a Mr. Metica Fan, where he allegedly stated that Mr. Metica was a cyber bully. This video, just like Doodle Tone's video, has since been deleted, so I again cannot say what happened in this video. As this video is deleted, you can probably tell that this video did not go down too well. However, this would not be the end of this little saga, as Dylan would go to Twitter to try and fight Metica and his fans himself. At first, Dylan tried to play this off cool, thanking Metica for the views and then trying to make fun of Metica's avatar by calling it a hipster Slenderman. Dylan continued this approach for a couple of hours, before he probably realised how stupid doing this was and in true lolcow fashion, in which you're probably used to by now, he decided to make things worse yet again as, after pouring gas on the fire, he decided to block essentially everyone. This made everyone, including Metica, laugh at him, leading to Dylan essentially just whining to himself, which is made even funnier by the fact that after 4 hours, nobody even cared not giving a single like, retweet or reply. Not yet deterred by all of this, Dylan revealed he was going to create a video ranting about Mr. Metica, before cancelling the video a couple weeks later. As a result of all of this, at the start of 2017, Dylan announced his retirement from the commentary community and apologised to Metica. Something incredibly, incredibly stupid yet again. Something that again manages to make this even funnier is that around this time, he fell out with Doodle Tones the person he defended that caused this whole situation. Soon after this again, Dylan decided to demonstrate some more embarrassing behaviour again on Twitter, this time changing his handle to Donald Harambe Trump and then to Dildo the Dolt Thomas, also changing his Twitter bio to state that he is the Donald Trump of commentaries. 
God damn, is that stupid. This would not be the end of this little stupid Trump thing, with him then changing his profile to a picture of his avatar with Jeb Bush's face. Whilst I'm on this, I really just want to talk about his awful avatars. There are at his time on YouTube, as DHG Productions, to Dylan Thomas, he has had around three different profile pictures, and they all just look strange. I know very little of art, but I assume he has done these pictures himself, as they all just look off. I don't know if it's just because of the strange dial, or that it isn't drawn properly. I honestly don't know, but they just look bad to me. More recently, with his newest avatar, he's been doing a VTuber-esque thing, and again to me, this is so strange to watch. I don't know why he'd think it's a good idea, and neither do I understand why people would want to watch it. It's just creepy, uncanny valley stuff. At the end of 2016, and at the start of 2017, there was a fight between Dylan and another YouTuber, by the name of Blue Rush 1992 In Dylan's video, he attacked Blue Rush for burning a copy of Sonic Boom, as well as creating lazy content, as he was a Let's Player, instead of doing more worthwhile content, like doing Sonic Theories, just like Dylan. This video had no evidence throughout, and was just Dylan making statements about what he thought about Blue Rush. Blue Rush then responded in his own video, named The End of Dylan Thomas, where he went through Dylan's video and pointed out how stupid it was. Soon after, in the background, Dylan, along with many other Sonic YouTubers, went in a private group chat and resolved the issue. However, Dylan still created a second video on Blue Rush, which was very similar to the first, but with some evidence. Only some. Not like much of it mattered though, as the situation was resolved, and Dylan's arguments were just straight up bad. He actually mentioned the Sonic Boom thing again, which is just a stupid 15 second video, and yet it apparently infuriated him. Later in 2017, Dylan began producing Chris Chan related content, mainly revolving around Sonichu, as his channel is based on Sonic the Hedgehog. This first video was partly an April Fool's joke, being uploaded on the 1st of April and being a semi-sincere ranking of the Sonichu characters. Dylan would continue producing Chris Chan content after this, with this mainly revolving around reading the quickie, with his well, in my personal opinion, annoying voice. Dylan occasionally brought in other people to join in on these videos, where they would essentially just make comments on what the articles were saying, which is an improvement, but not too great of one. Dylan's videos actually managed to attract the attention of Chris at one point in late 2019, on the 13th of September, although this response, nor video, is actually too interesting. Dylan also created content called Sonic Insanity, where he would cover lol cows and other strange figures connected to Sonic the Hedgehog through their strange behaviours. As I stated before, Chris Chan was a large part of the Sonic Insanity, but Dylan also covered two other large figures in 2019. One of these was Noel, the owner of the Kiwi Farms and in this video he read out Noel's article on the quickie, so doesn't really add anything there. However, his other subject was actually himself. In this video, he does something surprising, and decides to read the Kiwi Farms read about him, mixing it up from reading the quickie. In all seriousness though, this video does actually have more substance than the majority of these videos, as he's able to actually add information rather than just call Chris an idiot. He also owns up to a lot of the mistakes he had made up to this point. In April 2020, Dylan had one of the most stupid fights I think I've ever seen in my time in covering lol cows. Dylan joined a Discord server, owned by the creators of Sonic Legacy, a new comic about Sonic the Hedgehog created by the fans. In this server, it was alleged that Dylan sent pictures of his new comic at the time in order to try and team up with the Sonic Legacy crew and work together. However, this was not the problem. The real problem was that Dylan sent this to the wrong channel and thus the images were removed. Things continued to worsen, as it seemed that Dylan began whining about this. As a result of this, 
and that the community seemingly had a problem with the people he associated with, Dylan was banned from the server. Dylan did not take this lying down and began creating YouTube videos, community posts and Twitter posts stating that he was instantly banned from the server and was called a racist. Sadly, a lot of the information about this situation is no longer around due to Dylan deleting all of his content about it, at least from his side anyway. Dylan also apparently deleted his whole Discord server and deactivated his Twitter over this according to a Kiwi, which is Peak Dylan. Someone from the Sonic Legacy team, Captain AWF, went onto the Kiwi farms to talk about it, where he gave his side if the story, as well as confirming that he flagged some of Dylan's videos. The Kiwis made fun of AWF, so all in all, this situation went well for absolutely nobody in this petty drama. However, this would not be the end of this stupid drama. This would continue throughout the rest of 2020, although there is no more important information relevant to bring up, with essentially both sides bringing up under information. This would culminate in Dylan creating another video about his Kiwi Farms thread. This time, he doesn't seem as content talking about what has been going on, and this time sounds extremely angry throughout. Oh yeah, and guess what? He doesn't really add much again, and just reads the whole thread word for word. Then, on the 1st of May, he stopped his new Discord server from being public and made it a Patreon-only server. This was likely as a response to this whole stupid fight. Around the beginning of 2021, Dylan, yet again, and still unsurprisingly, found himself in stupid drama. On Twitter, Mike Pollock, the current voice of Dr Eggman, was trolled on Twitter by an anonymous user. It was unknown who this was, but due to Dylan deleting his account, it seemed to many that Dylan was behind this. A few days later, some of Dylan's friends had their accounts suspended at around the same time. As a result of this, Dylan blamed Esnick, someone who was a part of Silver Gunner. As a result of this, Dylan blamed Esnick, someone who was a part of Silver Gunner, for the exact same things he had just been accused for. This consisted of a back and forth between the two, with Dylan making streams on Esnick. On the 19th of August 2021, Dylan uploaded a Sonic Insanity video talking about the behaviour of a groomer in the Sonic community by the name of Nitro Artwork. Now the content of this video isn't actually too important to this section. What is important is people's reaction to this video, as very soon after it was uploaded, it began getting backlash. This is because the situation had been resolved, with the victim involved just wanting to leave the situation behind them, and thus Dylan's video appeared to be a cash grab. With this video, Dylan alleges that many people who were angry at this video raided his Twitter, YouTube and Discord, resulting in him having to private his Twitter and block these apparent raiders as well as banning them from the Discord. Now, I cannot definitively say the extent to which those who were angry at Dylan apparently attacked him. This is because the comments that were on this video have since been removed, with him turning the comment section off, although I do doubt his claims. Something else that again makes Dylan look bad is that he changed the description of this video after the initial upload, stating that he will probably make a video on the victim in the future, which just makes him look like an ass. November 2021 seemed to be quite a bad month for Dylan. Firstly, he revealed that he had broken up with his girlfriend, Taylor, who he had collaborated often with on his streams. This was apparently due to them not wanting a long distance relationship for three years due to them living in different states. Then, in a now deleted stream, he allegedly was upset that when he would cover other lol cows than Chris, he would not get as many views, which made him get angry at the chat. He then had to make multiple community posts, as well as uploading an apology video. However, this has since been made private. On the 4th of August, Dylan decided to continue the Sonic 2 comic now that Chris Chan had been arrested. However, it does not appear that this attempt lasted too long, as I haven't heard from it since, as well as in breaking up with Taylor, who was working on the comic with him. This would not be his last attempt at a comic though, as more recently, he has created a comic titled Cyclone. However, as I know nothing of art, I'm not going to comment on the art or the story, 
and it's not really pertinent to the whole narrative anyway. Although one thing I do want to bring up is that it seems as though he uses Clip Studio Paint in order to do this comic. And with this application, it gives the user many presets, which it seems Dylan uses very liberally. Dylan had been having an ongoing feud with somebody called Jesse Pajamas for something like a year. However, despite this, it was never really too interesting and manages to be even more stupid than the Sonic Legacy mess. So much so that I really cannot be bothered to talk about it in depth due to actually being incoherent. However, what was funny about this situation was that he was constantly whining that he was being A-logged by Jesse and his associates. Further to this, he uploaded a video in December 2021 claiming Jesse was a pedophile, which got his video taken down. Twice. It took him until the third upload to realise that maybe he shouldn't be uploading content that could get his channel taken down. Dylan and another YouTuber by the name of Rogue Internet Man had been doing a podcast together called The Quickville Podcast, where they would both watch and commentate over one of Chris's videos. However, this podcast would not last for too long as Dylan fell out with Rogue in June 2021 as Rogue was busy with real life things and seemingly didn't give Dylan any notice, causing him to whine. However, that would be the end of the situation, until the 15th of January 2022, where Dylan requested to talk to Rogue on a stream, which Rogue accepted. So, you and I, we did that stream together and everything, and you came to me, you wanted me to watch Chris videos with you, I agreed, figured, you know, this would be mutually beneficial, why not? And we did them. I don't think they were very good, but your audience seemed to like them, and that's fantastic. However, at, later on, as we were doing it, I actually got pretty sick, and I wasn't able to show up, and I was taking care of life stuff while I thought I was dying. And... After that, then I had to move because I had to get out of a living situation I was in, and then I had to go deal with some other life stuff. And you were aware of this. I mean, you saw the time where there was the fundraisers and everything. But yeah. then when I wasn't able to show up, that bothered you. And I understand that, but you, you have to understand that when it comes to survival, I have to make sure that not only am I making sure I'm not getting sick or getting better from being sick and taking care of my family and getting things in order, but I also, if I'm going to spend my free time on YouTube content, I've got to focus on my own stuff because honestly, my day job doesn't pay enough. I, I've got to eat. How am I supposed to continue to get you to do the show when you don't Because like I, it? I fucking agreed to do it. Are you that fucking I stupid? I agreed to do it with can you. you not, it, can you not insult me, Rogue? I'm oh, are you going to cry? Person. Come on. Come I'm on. Just talk like cry, a fucking Rogue. adult. You're, you're fucking lying. I am lying. talking like an adult. <laughs> I'm not lying. You've got 1,400 people watching you, so... I am not lying. afraid of you, Rogue. I'm not afraid of you. That's why your voice talk. is shaky. I'm, I'm talking to you right now. My and then when I bring up shaking. when I bring I'm up counterpoints, you try to talk over you, me. Bro. You try to talk over me. I've heard murmurs of people that are close to you saying that you were talking about me. Now I, I was I, I figured you would, because I've seen your history where you always gotta dissolve every stream. You always somebody who's your internet friend is now your online enemy. So I figured, okay, whatever. But I didn't give him much mind, and of course, if somebody brings it up to me, I'm just going to brush it off as a joke, because that's the only way to approach it. If you needed something, Rogue, I could have helped you out. I didn't want asked. hand. I didn't want fucking handouts from you. I already there was already I, that fundraiser need shit. A handout, Rogue. But I didn't. I don't need, need your help. You're not some fucking god. I don't need your help. I'm not claiming to be a god, Rogue. I was just someone working. I don't with need. You. I, I don't need your you. help, though, Dylan. You're not my friend. I Just be the bigger man and fucking block you. me if I'm that such a bad guy. You I brought never it up. Said you I brought it up. You. Whose idea I was all this I shit? Wanted, I said I wanted to talk to you, Rogue. Not and you brought up doing it live. I don't. Yeah, want, I didn't want to fucking talk to you. Talk period. To me privately. Because I'm not obligated to you. You're not my fucking girlfriend. You're not and I'm not your girlfriend because you don't have one fucking period, man. I don't owe you I anything. Chose to, I chose to end my relationship, <laughs> Rogue. I chose to move back down That's fantastic. with my money. That's fantastic. What little money you fucking got. I didn't want to do fine. anything with you because you owe nothing to me and I owe nothing to you. This is, this is fucking stupid, man. Like, what, ultimately, what was gained by wanting to even do this live? Just settle things. That's all what I does that do? do? Because all it, all it does is just invite people to come and watch. What does that solve? Ultimately, well, was what was your goal? That we, I'm hoping that we can continue to talk. I don't see anything is over with yet. If you want to talk more about stuff, I'm open to continue talking. 
this is just, it's, it's fucking stupid. I'm just, I'm honestly, I am beyond confused why this even needed to happen. Okay, you can hold that opinion. Oh shit, thank you for the drink. You're welcome. Dinner will be ready soon too. Sounds good, thank you. Bye. Hello. Right, take the dog. Come on, let's go. Don't you miss that, Dylan? Nope. <laughs> Uh, you don't I miss chose it. my relationship. <laughs> I'm sure I you did. I want to be on my own, Rogue. I'm sure you did. did. That's why you cried. <laughs> I didn't cry about Taylor once. I moved to Oklahoma because I wanted to. I put my money into moving back here. <laughs> so why you made a bad so decision and cried. Believe? Why is it so hard for you to believe that I wanted something else out of my life? You see why we should have had a moderator, Dylan? <laughs> what a fucking well, joke. I feel like that this is going nowhere, Rogue. Uh, you're right, it is absolutely going nowhere. It's got something in common with your channel. This debate clearly did not work out too well for Dylan, completely humiliating him with him having to rage quit the call. Upon the end of this call, Dylan made his Twitter private shortly before deleting it. Dylan then did the typical damage control thing where he stated that this was part of his recovery and is looking to get psychological help. Which isn't really the time to say this, as he was only made fun of on a stream, and that's it. The next day, he also revealed that he was removing his drama content, including his Sonic and social media insanity videos, the main draw of his channel. Since this rogue stream, things really haven't gone well for Dylan. Drama with Taylor, his ex-girlfriend briefly occurred, as it was rumoured that she had moved on from Dylan and started dating someone else by the name of Jesse. This didn't actually happen, but as Dylan checks his own thread, he likely saw this, and in response, contacted Taylor's mother, which is just a dumb thing to do. But, what do you expect? As I stated previously, he has taken down all of his popular content, which is likely to damage the analytics for his channel, as well as make many people leave, which is happening as evidenced by his social blade. More recently, he has moved on to comic-related videos, which do not do near as well as his older content used to. Further to this, he has e-begged on his community tab numerous times since. So, what's next for Dylan? Well, knowing his history, it's not going to be good for him, and will probably try to start some more fights soon, because he just can't help himself. He really does just need to keep away from stupid drama, but that's probably not going to happen because for the most part, he is the one instigating it.